Have you ever gone to purchase a common product or service, and after being excited to make your purchase, you discover that it is not available and you have to wait? This is a symptom of a push system. In a pull system, it would regulate supply based on real demand and ensures the most common products and services are available to the customer at the point of need. Any more is waste, and any less is an issue for the customer. Kanban is a Japanese word meaning visual card and is used to visually trigger supply. Kanban is used in supply management generally when replenishment cycles are long and complex. A pull system will control and reduce inventory, reduce order turnaround time, avoid late or missed deliveries, and reduce scheduling complexity. Push systems are focused on the process, whereas pull systems are focused on the customer, both internal and external. This topic shares the art of effective communication to achieve optimized supply and replenishment. In a push system, we produce based on an assumption and forecast. We trigger supply at the first process and push the product through the value stream to the customer. This approach always leads to long lead times and overproduction. A pull system does the very opposite. Here, the majority of orders are delivered immediately from controlled inventory supermarkets, which then triggers replenishment of only what has been consumed. No consumption means no supply. Here, we trigger from the customer and pull what is needed. This system can be implemented throughout the entire value chain. Pull systems are best suited to products and services with a high and stable demand. I hope you found this information useful. To learn more about this topic, enroll into this module or the course through our website www.fativeacademy.com.